Greetings Builders, Daniel here and welcome back to another video. As you know, July is already upon us and this is the last month of the Crucible League. In this video we're going to check the most popular builds on PoE at this very moment. And if you haven't tried any of those during this league, this is your chance. You can find all links for POB and complete guides in the video description. Let's start with this skill, this is the third most used between high level players right now, the Tornado Shot. And to illustrate it, I've chosen the cast on critical Tornado Shot Dead Eye with the Ranger class. This build combines all the power of a cast on critical build with the safety of a ranged attack. It has an amazing clear speed and can deal big damage to bosses. To list the pros of this build, I would start with this amazing clear speed that you're seeing. Look how satisfying it is to get so many ice spears from our tornado shot projectiles. I'm sure that you will love clearing maps with this beauty. This character is awesome with bosses as well. It deals a lot of single target damage even from a great distance. Now, to list the cons, I will start saying that this build isn't for everyone. You need a lot of currency to put it together. Another issue is that it isn't easy to build because it needs many specific rare items. As for budget, this build would need at least 12 divine orbs to put it together. As I said, it's an expensive one. Don't forget that on poebuilds.net you can find a list with all the equipments that you need to buy for this build with direct links for examples being sold by other players. You need 3 mandatory unique items for this build. The first one is the Asnap Smart Helmet that triggers socketed skills when you attack. This grants even more ice spears. We also need the Maloney's Mechanism. This one is the only quiver that has sockets, we are going to use those extra sockets to debuff bosses for a lot more damage. Finally, we also need two intuitive rip unique jewels to save many points in our passive tree. For clear speed, this one is surely a 10 out of 10. Clearing with this build is not only fast but also extremely satisfying. The boss dam is also deserves 10 out of 10. You end up casting so many spears and all of them can hit the target causing an incredible shotgun effect. For the survivability I'll give it 9 out of 10. This build can do everything from a safe distance, it freezes enemies, it has a huge amount of evasion, armor and spell suppression. It will be hard to die if you always mind your position on guardians and pinnacle bosses. Next we have the second most played skill. The Smoking Hot Rytheos Fire Juggernaut with the Marauder class. Here you can use all the tank tanks and life regeneration from the Juggernaut to easily sustain the Rytheos Fire damage and just walk your way through the end game. To reach the pros of this build, I'll have to start with how comfortable and smooth this gameplay is. As soon as you get this build sustaining Rytheos Fire, you start clearing maps without even noticing. This character is also super tanky and it will be hard to die even if you try to. Now, to list the cons, I'll start saying that the boss damage isn't great. But don't worry, you kill map bosses easily, even on a low budget. But Guardians and Pinnacle bosses will take longer than usual if you don't invest a few Divine Orbs. Another issue is that the leveling is a little bit complicated since we use a spell as a Marauder. But if you follow closely the steps on the leveling section from the complete guides, you won't have a problem. As for budget, you can get it destroying early endgame maps with only around 105 chaos, but if you follow the crafting tips on the complete guide, this can get a lot cheaper. To comfortably advance to yellow maps, you need to invest around 150 chaos, and for easily completing your atlas, I recommend investing around 4 divines, mostly on your survivability. You need 2 mandatory unique items for this build. The first are the Legacy of Fury boots. They scorch nearby enemies and cause them to explode for an amazing clear speed. Those boots might be a little bit expensive during the first days of a new league, but don't worry, you'll be fine playing without them until the price drops. The other mandatory unique is the Immortal Flash Belt. This one grants a huge amount of life regeneration and even a great armor buff. For clear speed, I'll give this build 10 out of 10. As mentioned before, as soon as this build is complete, you just walk and watch every enemy burn only because of your presence. This means not stopping for casting and saving a lot of time while farming. The boss damage on the other hand is not that great. I would give it just 7 out of 10 because it would need investment to do a decent DPS on pinnacle bosses and guardians. But don't worry, this build still kills map bosses easily on a low budget. For this survivability, this build surely has 10 out of 10. As you can see on the POB, this build gets over 100,000 armor, 2,000 life regeneration per second, over 87% of all elemental resistance and even over 50% chance to block spell damage. 
Look at the effective HP, it goes beyond 200,000. Even if you try to die, it wouldn't be easy. Finally, it's time for the most used skill, the one that is being played by over 9% of high level players, the amazing lightning arrow dead eye, also with the ranger class. With all those returning projectile shenanigans that Crucible brought, we now live in the time of archers, with very little investment that pretty much doubled most of attack projectile damage. Now Lightning Arrow got even more with its Val version that is awesome to kill bosses. To list the pros of this build, I'm not sure if I would start it with clear speed or boss damage, because both are out of this world. This build is also not complicated to put together, it's definitely the perfect mid league build to be playing right now. Now, to list the cons, I will start with its cost. Because of Lionite's fall, this build is quite expensive right now, but I'm sure that in a few more weeks the prices will drop. About the budget, as I just mentioned, is an expensive build right now. You need around 5 divine orbs to put it together. You only need 2 mandatory unique items for this build. The first is, of course, the Lionite's fall jewel that grants many useful nodes in our passive tree. Next, we also need a Yoke of Suffering Amulet that causes all of our elemental damage to shock. This way our enemies take a lot more damage. For clear speed, I'd give it 10 out of 10. You fire many projectiles with high attack speed and those projectiles return to you, pierce enemies and bounce off walls. You even have your Mirage Archer to fire more projectiles. No one can survive that. The boss damage is also amazing and deserves 10 out of 10. Using two Val Lightning Arrows plus your Ballistas on bosses will kill them so fast that you won't believe it. For this survivability, I'll give you this build 9 out of 10. You have Armor Evasion and Spell Suppression that grants almost 50,000 effective HP. But the main reason why this build is safe is because you can kill everything from a huge distance. You just need to mind your position. And that's it, guys! Will you try any of those meta builds before the next league? Please don't forget to tell me in the comments and leave a thumbs up to support the channel. I wish you guys an amazing day and don't forget to keep building.